Hi there. Welcome back to our channel where we simplify building construction projects, letting you know all you need to successfully bring your dream projects to reality. In this video, we are going to talk about all it took us to take this project from the decking level to the finishing stage where it is now. Before we delve into today's matter, I would like to urge you to like our videos, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon such that you'll be notified each time we post a video. To give you an idea of the space you're working with here, the ground floor of this building has an entrance porch which also serves as the car porch. Then from there leads to the ante room which leads to the visitor's convenience as well as the visitor's room. It has then from the ante room you enter the carved staircase area from where you turn to the main lounge with the dining area, the powder room, and the, which serves the dining and the lounge, then the kitchen area, the in-law suite, and a second lounge, then a two-car garage. However, on this first floor, we have three big rooms with a family lounge that has a void overseeing the, the lounge on the ground floor. A master bedroom, very massive with a walk-in closet, a big sit-out, and all these rooms are all in suite. Plus, two stairways, a normal stairs, and a curved stair hall. The setting out at this level implied marking out all the spaces religiously as they are on drawing and ensuring that all the windows that went from ground to top are respected such that it will come out as it is on drawing. After marking out these places, the laying of block continued until the third day when we had gotten to the linter level of most of the rooms and the linter work started with the carpenter boarding and the iron bender putting the irons while the casting of the linter ensued. At this point, we erected a scaffold for the voided parlor such that the, the block work can continue at that point, taking it to the next level. While at this, the boarding and casting of the columns and lintels of all other species continued. It can be seen that we did most of the works concurrently at this site to ensure that we meet up with the target. To achieve this, we had to do the work in sections, targeting the, the areas that would help us to achieve the decking of the paint house first. As we ran that place off, then we started all other areas, taking them session by session. And of course, there are some places that didn't get to the uh, paint house. So we did those ones later on. By the time block work at this level was completed, it was recorded that we used about 5,009 inches blocks. Now the 12 millimeter roads were about 100 lanes that were used for the lintels. The columns took about 45 lanes of 16 mm roads. Then we used about 58 mm roads for the steel rope. Then um, about 130 bags of cement were used for the laying of blocks and the casting of the lintels. Then we bought about 100 pieces of wood to augment what we already had to do the lintels. Then we used about five trips of sand as well as five trips of uh, the aggregate, which is the stone we used for the casting. In all, Considering the material and labor that went into this, it took the project about 4,899,000 Naira to get this job from the decking level to the next decking level. Mm -hmm. 
we normally start the preparation for decking by completing the stairs. This helps us to minimize costs such that the casting of the decking will be done through the stairways. In this case, we only had one staircase that leads to the penthouse, which is the normal staircase. Then we had to cast it in preparation for the decking. At the same time, the forming of the curved roof members had begun. This is because the curved roof was anchored to the decking of the penthouse and from there sloped downwards. We had to use thick gauge galvanized two and three inches pipes to form these members following already established design for the roof members. This was done before completing the block work at the front of our two car garage. The reason being that the slope and the curve of the roof members will determine how the blocks will slope and curve when it is done. By the time the iron work for the paint house decking had been completed, the electrical piping as well as the plumbing work started, which prepared the whole decking for the casting. These activities are necessary to, to ensure that all the lighting points are taken care of at this stage before the casting happens as well as ensuring that all the points for the toilets have the necessary pipings done to avoid cracking of the decking of any sort. After anchoring the curved roof members to the decking of the paint house, the casting began. This actually anchor was done to ensure the sturdiness of the member such that no matter what happens, it will not move. That is to say, there is no amount of wind or any other kind of thing that will take it away from the building. At this point, the carpenter had also started preparing the parapet wood for the areas that uh, were not covered by the decking. The plumber has piped down all the service points in readiness to be channeled to the soccer way and also preparing the house for plastering. By the time the preparatory work was completed, the casting of the decking started. It is worthy of mention here that the decking of this paint house is also massive and measures about 147 square meters. To achieve this decking, we had to buy extra 100 pieces of board. This is to add to the ones we already lost from the other works we have been doing. And we used about uh, 50 mm rods, 250 12 millimeter rods, about two bundles of binding wire, and it took five tips of sand and five trips of the aggregate, as well as 140 bags of cement to cast this project to finish. In all, this decking cost the project about roughly 3.5 million naira to achieve. By the time this phase had been achieved, the next thing was to set out the blocks at the paint house level. Now the paint house of this building 
contained one big cinema or media room which can be used as a multi-purpose and of course it has a convenience and a very large seat out which extends over the entrance porch and the block work for this continued immediately starting with the setting out and marking out of all the spaces as well as marking out all the windows and doors to get this level to the lintel took about two days to accomplish and by the time this was accomplished we had uh, used about 1400 blocks 37 12 millimeter rods 28 millimeter rods about 40 bags of cement then the casting considering the casting and all other workmanships um the parapet work for instance was done as a charge thing because of how uh, risky it is at 200,000 naira and by the end of the day it cost the project roughly 1.5 million to get the paint house ready for the roofing since our roofs for this project is a hidden roof we ensured that drainage pipes are planted from the ground floor up to the roof such that as soon as the roof is done we treat it and flush everything such that the water flows naturally to those points it will collect from the drainage pipes and sent down to the floor this when done well ensures the easy and free flow of water from the roof to the floor without any leakage The choices of the roofing material here was influenced by the result we wanted to achieve. For instance, we chose the steel roof members to help us achieve the curve we wanted on the curved roof. Then, instead of going for uh, stone coated roof tires, we decided to use um, long span aluminium of 0.55 millimeter thickness. This is to help us ensure that our curve follows and since the roof is not really going to be seen because of the hidden roof that we used to also ensure that the, the possibility of leakage is reduced drastically i'm not going to go into the details of the roofing activities and its cost but just bear in mind that the roofing of this project cost us about 4.5 million and this is because the steel members alone and fabricating them took about uh, more than 1 million naira to achieve and we used the 0.55 millimeter thickness aluminium which costs high enough in the market as of now the plastering and dressing of the hidden roof parapet makes it look exactly like this as well as ensures the free flow of water from the rooftop to the ground Taking this project from foundation to this level and taking into account all the material and labor cost this 529 square meters project a 39 million naira to achieve. Thank you for being with us this far. See you in our next one.